Liam, congratulations. I know there's nothing more a defender loves than a 1 0 win, and you've got one today. Yeah, delighted. More so for the fact that we've been put under uh, mm. periods of you know, good pressure from a side that's in great form. Some strong uh, physical lads that they've got, um, as well as the, you know, we were trying to get the knockdowns and play for the second phases. And I felt like there was a couple of areas where we was possibly a little bit rushed and uh, probably could have been a little bit more composure. But obviously, you know, you can't really blame lads when they're, they're working as hard as they are in the midfield and the strikers to get back in to help us out as a, as a back line. So a collective unit from Ben forwards, um, you know, brilliant. Um, clean sheet is is something we, we're probably short of this year that we need more of because uh, I think overall along the season it'll be a team that does keep you know the majority of the clean sheets because as we've seen there's um, a lot of quality in this in this group that can score as a goal so making sure we're keeping it and we're working hard to keep it locked up at the back and uh, yeah um, big pat on the back for the lads today so I was uh, really pleasing. Because you didn't get that second goal it seemed to invite them to put that pressure on you and when you've got strikers like Ruben Reed and Dagnall coming off the bench, Murphy coming off the bench and quickly started. I mean, it's, they're a handful, aren't all of them, aren't they? Oh, massively. You can see that the uh, side that's obviously got a bit of a resurgence about them and mm. uh, a lot of confidence and, and the way they carried themselves and the way they went about to, to rough us up and, and things like that. And sort of their game management, um, I think, was really good. And obviously, they have got that directness that, um, you know, Reed's played at a great level mm. uh, and so the boys off him. So. Um, it was a tough test for us and it was uh, all about concentration levels and making sure we could do it for the full game. So I think we've, um, you know, all it comes to mind where we've, we've, we've got the leads and, and even got the second goal on that one and not, you know, locked it off at the back and that was disappointing. So um, obviously, really fantastic bit of composure. That's sort of the composure you need in a, a frantic game where it's sort of um, both teams looking really competitive, looking to get the win. So really good bit of composure and then like I said it wasn't just the back lads but it was Ben it was the boys with the shift in front and uh, I think we could have had a, a couple more uh, chances and goals as well to be fair so uh, all in all it's a, it's a great reaction from uh, I'd say like I said the word was said freak from, from uh, Tuesday but um, those happen in this league and it's all about the group maintaining a, a consistent standard and I think that will stand us in a good stead now so that we've got a full week to prepare for, for we've got all the shot. As you say, it was a freak night on Tuesday, but how important was it to bounce back from a game where you'd had pretty much anything that could go wrong did go wrong? The injury to Kitchen, the strange own goal, the red card that was then rescinded. How important was it to bounce back today? No, it is. It's massive. And obviously, uh, you're on the cameras, so it's after everybody's kick-off and everybody's got you know the, the, the channel that they'll tune in and have a look because at the end of the day, I've, just, I've said it to the lads at the start of the season, you know, Stockport are the, the big hit this year. Um, they want to come here, show what they've got and take us down and we've got to, as a group own that and know that that's the case and the pressure is slightly you know on us the mm. fact that everyone sort of fancies you from outside the group but like I said as long as we're you know humble level-headed and getting the work in which I know we, we, we have been doing um, we'll, we'll, we'll get results like this tonight more often than not so um, obviously like I said really really important and it hopefully you know put us into a great position now for, for the older shot game and uh, we, we can kick on a little bit and sort of close that gap that we need to close and try and push away from some of the ones that are behind us. I think, Liam, when anyone looks back at your career, you've been a, a serial promotion winner with Halifax and Fleetwood and obviously back-to-back -back at, at Salford. When you look at this dressing room now and the way the team's set up, you change managers mid-season, but when you look at, at where you are and who you've got in that dressing room around you, do you feel those same emotions and sensations that you've had with those previous promotion wins? Do you think this is a team that can, can achieve likewise? Yeah, massively, 100%. And I think the, the, the additions that we, we made uh, are winners. And I think the lads that, that stayed with us that won the conference year, the North year, and um, have stepped up to the level again. You know, you have Ash Palmer, Jordan Keane, Sam Williams, Ben Cliff, you know, even James Stock coming back now again permanently. Um, they've, they've been fantastic. Um, and like I said, obviously there's going to be a lot of talk when the results quite, don't quite go our way. But we know we're working hard behind the scenes. And like I said, over the course of the next 20 odd games, I'm pretty you know, confident that this group's going to be in a great position to, uh, to challenge for the places of, of promotion. And um, it'll just be pretty much what's in that group now um, that'll decide that in terms of games like the Weymouth one and, and things like, yeah, maybe not the Sutton one as such, but 
I think we spoke about even the Sutton one when the decisions went against us, yeah. there's better game management that can be had. Yeah. I think there could have been better game management that could have been had at the Notts County game. and Just things like that, but I think if it was to come in this perfect, then then obviously you'd be way out in front by now. Yeah. Um, I think there's always going to be, even for the lads that are slightly older than some of the younger lads, the will to want to get better. Yeah. That's certainly what I've got to drive that I, you know, I want to play for a long time. and. Um, I want to bring all my assets, you know, when I'm out on the field, when I'm behind the scenes with, with the boys. And there's more than just, like you say, myself, there's some really good leaders there, um, some quiet figures that you think wouldn't mm. really, but they go about the business. And, you know, like for like for positions, but we're so strong and we could, like you say, rotate when possible. And I think that's only going to push the group higher because you're always looking over your shoulder for who's behind you, pushing you, who's going to take your place. And, like I said, nobody in there takes that for granted. So, I think the gaffers come into a really good group that are hungry and want to want to prove to anybody that wants to knock us down that we're the, the, the real deal, really. As you say, he's come into a good group. It's perhaps an unfair question, this, but you were going well. Results were going well. You, you were where you were in the table. I think fourth at the time that Simon came in. But I know it's only been a short period. But what changes have you seen, or good changes that you've seen? What, what, what's better around the place at the moment? I wouldn't say anything was. It was better as such because a lot of the aspects that we've, um, obviously Simon's only been in for a short period of time and what he's seen from his homework that he's done before he come here and from the video and the analysis is all the stuff that was in place before with, with Jim, the previous manager, so um, there's credit to the work that we did with him. But that, that what you see out there has had small little tweaks here and there and I'm sure over the course of the next few weeks that you'll see more of those um, to the style that the manager wants. But like I said, the group's so reactive, reflective and wants to get better and wants to learn that they they know what they're doing on the pitch isn't quite enough at the minute, even though it's at a good level of position that we're in, in the league. They want to do more, they want to get better, they want to be the number one spot, they want to be able to talk okay. And I think that's the hunger, um, and we've just spoke about it in there, desiring things, just when we're in game management times, a yeah. little bit of a cool ahead, just to manage things and, and sort of see things out. because. Ultimately, in this league, you know, I know what it's all about. You're going to get put under pressure in, in any match against any opposition for, for periods of pressure. And we have to respond and, and you know, look solid and look comfortable. And, and like I said, we've definitely got that. And it's just a case of, um, even when you win, still learning. And I think, um, like I said, the lads are going to be you know, massively boosted by, by the win. And uh, I'm prepared as, as we have done and keep consistent all the way through the season. We'll see, you know, come the very last game where we are. Awesome. Well done. You're up to third tonight and another clean sheet today. Well Thank done. you very much. Cheers. Yeah, see you now. See you guys.